Everybody. Welcome back to another video. Got a beginner guitar trick here for you. Really something I wish that I worked on a long time ago myself. If you'd like the tabs for today's lesson, they are linked down below. I'll also have them featured in the video for you. So, yo, we got the tabs covered. And other than that, all my guitar courses are on sale this week. So if you want to check them out, want to support the channel, all that good stuff, they're all linked down below. They're on sale till Sunday. And if you want to tune into that live one hour arpeggio clinic that I'm going to be doing, uh, all you have to do is join one of the courses. So there you go. Let's get in it. Okay, so here's what we're doing today. When we learn our pentatonic scale, and I'm talking about beginners that are working on just trying to get the scales under your fingers, using your fingers individually. You know, we learn the pentatonic scale like this. <laughs> And in fact, most licks that you learn involve multiple notes on each string. But what if we only played one note per string? Ah, it sounds so different. So this is something that I did not do at first. It's almost like in our way of arpeggiating the pentatonic scale. So we're gonna dive into this four different examples here for you that we're gonna conquer. And the last one is using it in a traditional blues lick, but these shapes are awfully powerful. So here we go. Okay, so this is the one that I just played a second ago. You know, resolve it if you want to, if you're, or if you're like me and you just want to be a jerk, just end on that minor third and just leave it. So uh, what we're doing here is think about it, just box one of your A minor pentatonic. I'm going to play fifth fret. I'm starting out on a very strong note, your root note. Okay. Now I'm just going to go to my fifth or the seventh fret on the A string. Okay. Now notice how I played one note on the low B string, one note on the A string. I go to fifth fret on the D one note on the D string. I go to 7th fret on the G. 7th fret over there, sorry, that's a little bit loud. Then I go to 5th fret on the B, and 8th fret on the high E string. Now anyone who's run through your box one pentatonic a few times, you're probably like, oh, I can see how these notes are all inside of the scale, and that's what we want. But normally, we're playing it like this. Which sounds like a pentatonic. A lot of people are going to be able to hear that and be like, that's a pentatonic scale. But when you go like this, it doesn't really sound like a pentatonic scale. We're technically doing some chords in there, but we're not worried about that quite yet. Okay, right there. You know? Okay, so let's get to example number two, but just get that one and get to where you can ascend it. Just like that. So before we dive into the deep end of the pool, let's hang out in box one one more time and I'm gonna turn it into a little bit more of a repetitive lick. And I, I use this lick all the time, so it goes like this. So what's happening here? Well, we're taking kind of what we did before. We're starting on a different note this time though. So the shape is this. Okay, so I'm gonna start on seven this time. So I'm actually starting on my fifth. I'm not starting on the root. And I'm gonna go from seven on the A to five on the D, and then seven on the G. Now I view these, like I said, as shapes or patterns. You know, and like I said before, technically these are chord. You know, but let's not get too caught up in that just yet. I recommend learning it, but just for now, let's focus on just getting our fingers. This is about uh, being a beginner lesson, okay? Now what I do is I shift everything down a string, but I have to adapt my fingers to the way that the scale is changing. Okay, so I go like this. Now I'm gonna go to seven on the D, to five on the G, and then eight on the B. Now I use my pinky for this one. You can continue to use these three fingers if you like. But my pinky's just kind of there and set up for it, so I just, I just roll with the pinky. Now we move it down one more time. Now this shape actually stays the uh, same as the second one. When I start to shade to shame, man, I've always had trouble pronouncing S's. Uh, we're gonna go seven on the G to five on the B and then uh, eight on the high E string. Okay? Now you get these really cool, almost like dissonant sounding chord. You know, you can get some really cool, really cool sounds out of it. But if you do it, I'm just doubling everything and it gives me more of like a rolling lick. And you could obviously move this around 
And why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and jump into box number into box number three, to lick number three. So with example number three, we hung out in box one for a while. Let's go from box five to box one to box two. Okay, so we're gonna be going like this now. Okay, now I should point out one thing. It doesn't really matter how you pick these. I don't know why I just did that without my pick for some reason at all, but normally I would pick these. <laughs> but you can get some really cool. ideas throw some delay on there or something it sounded really cool but again you have to envision box number five of your a minor pentatonic scale at this point envision box number one and envision box number two okay so i'm going to take this shape and move it up on the same three strings we're not changing strings but changing it to adapt to each different box so we're going like this this is actually like an Eddie Van Halen chord. You see Eddie do this in, oh, it's on Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, but I can't remember what song. Um, but anyways, that's who I got the chord from. Is fifth fret on the D, to second fret on the G, to fifth fret on the B. So kind of a big stretch if you have smaller hands, okay? Yeah, I'm holding them all down together, but you could do them individually as well. I find on these, I end up going down, down, up with my picking. So like two downs and one up. Okay, so now I'm gonna slide up to box number one. Now this one I'm gonna go seven on the D, to five on the G, to eight on the B. Okay? Just like that. Now we have to go up one more time to box number two. And luckily this shape is the same as the first shape. We're gonna go 10 on the D, seven on the G, and then 10 on the B. Okay, so we have. And you can keep going with this, you know, figure out where your shapes are inside of the scale. So you can walk all the way through those and get to where you can ascend and descend. Now the final one here is I wanted to show you a more traditional blues lick using some of these shapes. And it kind of like, you know, it shakes it up a little bit. So the lick is this. Okay, so there's the lick. Like I said, it started out super traditional blues. You're like, all right, yeah, I got you, blues lick. What, what you doing? So it, it quickly deviated. I don't think I added that bend in there. But anyways, the lick is this, again. Traditional, you know, blues pentatonic lick, bending up seventh fret on the G, and then the little, you know, SRV rolling finger thing. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, was this five on the B in the high E string? Rocking that finger. Okay. Now what happens here is instead of bending like maybe you normally would, I'm going like this. So I'm still going to the same note, but I'm not bending. I'm gonna do a one note per string idea. I'm gonna go. 10 on the high A string, to 8 on the B, and then I'm gonna go to 9 on the G. Some of you might know this shape as the BB box. Okay, right there. Now, now I'm gonna go into the shape that we did in the last example. I'm gonna go 10 on the B, 7 on the G, to 10 on the D. See? Right there, remember that was that shape. Right there, so I go. Resolving to a root note here on 12th fret of the A string. Okay, so hopefully you can see how you could take it and put it in a very musical situation. You know, maybe mix it. A lot you can do with it. All right, gang, that's gonna be it. So thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, if you would, check out those guitar courses if you're interested in tuning in to the live clinic or just seeing what all they got going on. They're all linked down below on sale this week, like I said. And uh, other than that, I'm gonna bounce on out of here. If you made it here to the end of the video, uh, hashtag SG, uh, SG Mama. <laughs> I don't know why, but hey, that's just, that's just how we roll sometimes. SG Mama, you would SG Mama. Maybe that's a riff in there, you know. SG Mama, yeah.